Oh, hello, and welcome back to Learn How to Edit Stuff. Ian will be right back, but what you're watching right now is actually a lip sync, which just got released into Runway. All you have to do is upload an image or a video file, generate or upload some audio, and then you're good to go. Well, that is absolutely bloody brilliant. Then you combo it all together, you start to add some snazzy effects, and you're starting to make some really cool stuff. Run, 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 run and let you same boat. Swimming if I can't float. With it, take the paper, rip it, clean slate. Here we go, dropping like Geronimo. Popping Tropicana flows, boats till we bubble up. Undercover, they don't know. All right, we're jumping into runway to check it out. So once you sign into Runway, you'll want to head to the Generative Audio tool and upload your media, either a photo or a video, or you can use one of the demo images to test it out as well. For the audio portion, you can type out some audio and choose a voice with text-to-speech, or upload your own audio file. File type is going to be MP3 or WAV, and the file needs to be less than 60 seconds total, and your image or video needs to be human, or like human adjacent, or like as close to human origin as possible, basically have normal human facial features. If you're opting to use a video clip and your audio file is longer than the duration of your video, when the video gets to the end, it will actually play backwards and start to boomerang back and forth. So just know that going in. Honestly, that feature is pretty handy and helpful if you're going to be creating your video in Gen 2, which we're going to be doing today. So I'll show you how to do that once we get to that part. I did a weird fan thing there, but we're going to go with it. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the text to image tool and enter a prompt. A medium close up of a male detective from the early 1900s where a trench coat and a hat. He is standing inside of a home library at night. Warm color palette, shallow depth of field, professional portrait photography. And I'm also going to add a negative prompt. Ugly, bad, deformed, improper anatomy, blah, blah, blah. Basically all the things I don't want my image to be. All right, this image is looking good. And now I'm going to give it a quick upscale with Magnific to bring in some additional detail. And now I'm ready to bring that image into Gen 2. So if I know my audio file is going to be short, basically around four seconds, I can make a video and add some camera movement to it to make it more dynamic. Well, that is absolutely bloody brilliant. If my audio clip is longer than four seconds, I'm only going to focus on some general head movements using Motion Brush. I'm going to select his face and hat, give it just a touch of upward motion and some ambient noise, and I'll also add a prompt. The man is talking. Now I have a four second clip of this guy talking, and when it gets to the end of the clip, it will automatically play backwards in lip sync to match the duration of my audio. Now let's pop back over into generative audio and load in our video that we just created and we'll quickly record some audio for our character. I'm going to just read off a script real quick, so bear with me. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, for the tale I'm about to unfold is as twisted as the alleys of this godforsaken city. You see, in my line of work, the knight is neither friend nor foe. It's a canvas painted with the sins of men, a stage where the shadows play the lead role, and truth, truth, is a fleeting mistress, always just out of reach. So that right there was speech to speech in 11 labs. Not a necessary part of the process, but you know, I'm filming this tutorial. Maybe I wanted to pizzazz it up a little bit. I wanted to give my detective kind of a gravelly cool detective voice. You get where I'm going with this. Use your own voice, use text to speech, use whatever you want. Let's keep going. And now you're going to upload your audio clip into Runway and click the Generate button. If you want, add some additional effects, maybe some color correction, maybe some handheld camera motion. And ladies and gentlemen, you've got yourself a real nice looking AI video. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round, for the tale I'm about to unfold is as twisted as the alleys of this godforsaken city. You see, in my line of work, the night is neither friend nor foe. It's a canvas painted with the sins of men, a stage where the shadows play the lead role. And truth, truth, is a fleeting mistress, always just out of reach. Honestly, super exciting addition to the Runway suite of tools. I'm very excited to continue to use it and explore it. I'm excited for you guys to continue using it and explore it. Drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you plan on using it. And as always, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate every single one of you. I promise I'm gonna start to make more videos again. I've just been really enjoying being a dad and hanging out with my son in my spare time, but I'm shooting this tutorial at night. I uh, Usually I shot the tutorials during the day, but now we're shooting them at night. So hopefully we'll have a little bit more time to make more more videos for the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Smash that subscribe button, drop a comment in the comment section below, hit a thumbs up on this button, and I will see you in the next one.